everyone, it's Lion here. Today I'm showcasing this Lego train signal mock that I made for my Lego city. I based this off of a design I found online, so I will leave a link to that in the description. But I have also made my own modifications and added a lot more detail. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at it. At the base of the mock, I've got some of these rollerblade parts here just to add some detail. And then I've also got one of these wheels, which could represent a way of shutting off the power. Now, in my design, I've basically got this main rod going up here, and that could either be something to stabilize this and keep it stronger, or in my opinion, it would be the power line, which brings power up to both signals. Those rods are fitted on using horizontal clips, and at the very base of the mock, you'll see that it's black, and then throughout the rest, mainly at the top, it is all white bricks. Now the first detail I have is this over here. This is a support to hold up this top section and this is actually very useful because without it, it would fall apart. And then I've also got a couple of aesthetic details over here. These are things that aren't specifically accurate to anything I found online. They're purely just to make it more detailed and those include skateboard wheels and one of these parts here, which is used by a painter. Along this, 2x8 section, you'll see that I've got these two handrails up here. Um, I've seen this on a lot of designs that I looked up online, so I thought I'd incorporate that. And then on either side, I've got two posts going up. Each of these support one of these signals, and you'll see that they both have these rods going up along the side. And then at the very base here, you can see I've got a couple more pointless details. So these are the two signals. They would represent two train lines and basically, just before a junction, you would have this light telling the train driver which one to go down, I suppose. I believe if it's up, that means you can go, and if it's down, you can't. Obviously, I do have a green and a red light on here. I suppose you could say they're not turned on, they're just like that. But much like traffic lights in my city, you kind of put all the colours on there and leave the rest to your imagination. These are fitted on using some of these really small little brackets here and then those are fitted onto a stud with a hole which then fits onto these poles over here and finally I do have some of these little cones on top to finish it off. Overall I'm pleased to have a nice detailed mock which is as accurate as I can make it for my city. I would love to hear your thoughts down in the description below but that is everything I have for today's video. To find out more information about this mock make sure to check out my website but until next time, thanks for watching.